Welcome back to MTP. Welcome We're, back, guys. We are joined by the infamous <laughs> Eamon. Um, I love that name, by the way. Thank uh, you. Anyways, so uh, we've changed the name to MTP, focusing strictly on mock tests. That's what we're here for today. Uh, we're not going to do the faults um, highlighted as we go. We'll go through all of that at the end. So if you're here for the results, skip straight to the end. I'm going to start your mock test now with just a tell me question. Nothing too tough. Yeah. Just a tell me question. Yeah. Would you be able to tell us about the power steering? How would you check to see it's working? Power steering is when the steering's on, it will feel very uh, light, and when the steering's off, it will, it will feel heavier. Yeah, perfect answer. Thank yeah. you very much. That's a good way to test it. You know, you hold the steering, you turn the car on, and as soon as the car turns on, the steering gets nice and light and easy, and that's just a brilliant way to know that the steering's working, the power steering's working, okay? Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start in mock test. The sat-nav's all set up. Uh, we're going to follow the sat-nav. Yeah. So when you're ready, we're going to drive on. Now, the sat-nav's a little bit back to front at the moment. Yeah. So just for now, I'll give you the directions. Okay. Yeah. And then shortly after, we'll be following the sat-nav. Okay. So if you're ready to go, I'd like yeah. to drive on when you're ready. I'll give you the directions. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Take your time. No rush. Follow the road. When yeah. it's safe to drive on, yeah. we'll get going. Thank you. Turn around when possible. So just like that. And we'll just continue to follow the road. around when possible. joined us on this epic mock test series with Eamon. This will be our last mock test before the real driving test. Yeah. So far we haven't passed any. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we'll get past today. I'd like to take the next left for me please. Yeah. Thank you. Turn around when possible. road on the left for me please okay. at the end of the road turn left turn left a24 stonecock hill lovely thank you very much gloria will take over my lovely assistant aka my ex-wife yeah and she'll give you the directions for the remainder of the test. Okay. If you're not too sure on your real test or on your mock tests, ask your examiner or your instructor. Yeah. And if it's safe, we'll definitely help you with the directions. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. After 300 yards, turn right, B279, Sutton Common Road. Turn right. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. So it's been very nice to see your progress throughout the mock tests as well. Yeah. And the last one, we almost passed it, didn't we? We just yeah. got one serious on the oh, last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very close. It's the best drive I've seen you do yet. Thank you. So far, I'm feeling quite nice about your driving as well. It's quite yeah. comfortable, relaxed. Well done for doing your mirror signal position early, making plans early. That was something we were working on as well. Yeah. Our you. mirror checks are very good. Your blind spot checks are very good. That's 50% of the test as well. Thank you. Um, we'll have a little look off screen with a lesson a bit later, the bigger roundabouts as well, yeah. just to help you with that before the big day tomorrow. Yeah. Chap, it looks a bit slow today. Yeah, this one can take a little while. Yeah, I might get the green. There we go. Yeah. Lovely crossroads. Nice new road, new mirrors as well. It's definitely a good habit. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B279, Sutton Common Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Guess there's no escape in the traffic. Long traffic. Yeah, we'll be making our way up to quite a large crossroads actually, just ahead of us. So yeah, definitely yeah. the reason for the traffic. Yeah. Ignore me if you see me moving around in my chair. It's just sometimes I get a little bit of cramps every now and again. So I need to just do the stretch. See the zebra poles here with the flashing beacon? Yeah. What does that warn us of? Uh, pedestrians. Lovely, yeah. If we have an island in the middle, yeah. is it one or two separate crossings? Uh, two. Excellent, well done. Everyone's probably thinking, is this a theory test? Or After 200 yards, <laughs> turn right, A217, Oldfields Road. I'm just taking advantage of the traffic to do a little Q&A. Yeah. Well, some of the theory test questions have the traffic. Like. Yeah, very helpful for the lessons. So yeah. for anyone that's doing the theory and doing driving lessons at the same time, it's yeah. a pretty good idea. Yeah.
After 50 yards, turn right, A217, Oldfields Road. Second on this traffic light. Yeah, we moved from Greenford to Morden, but uh, <laughs> the traffic lights followed us. Yeah. Turn right. So another big up for using the left lane. Yeah. After Obviously, 800 yards, yeah. turn left, Collingwood Road. Very important. After 400 yards, turn left. Just ignore me when I press this. Sometimes okay. people think, you know, yeah. they've done something wrong. It's yeah. just for me to just see the road, really, and just get a good look. Yeah. <laughs> After 100 yards, turn left, Collingwood Road. Seems like the schools must have finished a bit later today. There's a yeah. lot of students walking around. It's yeah. Quarter past five. Yeah, sometimes like one of my secondary schools used to end like at four. So. Like some schools just end up, uh, like yeah, you're end right. Up yeah, they add like an extra class, don't they? What's yeah. it called? Is it co curriculum or something that's like an extra one? I think that's the catch up from COVID. I think that's yeah, what that maybe, maybe. Very good mirror checks, and you're checking both sides as well for change of direction. So Thank nice you. to see, yeah, especially where it's come to the point now where it's a habit, yeah, it will keep you safe for life, so, yeah, or keep the motorbikes safe for life and yeah. the bicycles and the e scooters, yeah. Few of those around. You don't see too many e scooters anymore, actually. There was yeah. a big part where they were everywhere, but yeah, not too much. Yeah, I love e scooters. Yeah, they look yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd better than a up... bicycle, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. more fun for yeah. sure. Yeah, but you have to charge every single time. I'd be worried about falling off. Yeah, you're making me smile. Stop it. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Yeah, well done.
Thanks for Suzuki. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and when in doubt, don't. The bus yeah. wasn't really showing any signals, so yeah. it's very hard to tell if it was going to stay or move. So, yeah, if you're not that sure. That car should, could have overtook him. The yeah, bus, that's, that's fine. Yeah, the learner could have. Yeah. The Suzuki did. Yeah. So, yeah, that could happen as well. That's yeah. very good to point that out. Yeah. All that experience paying off now? Yeah. Uh, after this car maybe handled the Sounds like bicycle. a safer decision, yeah. You yeah. see what's happening with the bicycles there as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice mirror checks, well done. So if there was any motorbike or cyclist trying to get past, you would have picked up on that. Yeah. And that's what we were mentioning earlier. So, yeah. again, safe driving. Thank you. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Collingwood Road, then sharp right, Robin Hood Lane. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then sharp right. After 200 yards, sharp right, Robin Hood Lane. Sharp right. Very good with the temporary traffic light and stopping at the wait here sign. Yeah, and it said to wait here, so. Yeah. Most important part of the temporary traffic light is that red sign. Yeah. Just knowing where to stop, because it'll always be different, so we just look out for the sign. Yeah. It's gonna take longer as well for the truck. Uh, yeah, it says it's a freeway control, so yeah. we'll be waiting three times as long. Yeah. Hide a number longer than Like week. the green foot one when he took the battery off and he missed. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was something I haven't seen before. Um, yeah. That was new to me. Yeah. Nice mirror checks again. Thank you. Very good if your signal. space have we got uh, we do we do don't yeah, we yeah so just be cautious because if we're going too far into the oncoming traffic yeah we may cause them to slow stop or swerve yeah any one of the three s's is a serious fault and okay. we could fail to test okay at the end of the road turn left st james road turn left After 100 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Western Road, then bear right, Tate Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, then bear right. All right, no trick. I'd just like us to pull up and stop on the yellow line on the left. Don't worry about the driveways. Just anywhere on the yellow line will be fine. Yeah. J. 
drive on when you're ready. Now, I just want to mention yeah. this part at the end of the road. Yeah. It looks like a straight. Yeah. I'm going to call it a right turn because I just feel like if we show a right signal, yeah. it would really help a lot of people to know that we're going to go that way. Okay. So I know it seems weird. Yeah. But I'm going to say just at the junction up ahead where the cyclists are, yeah. just like you to turn right. The sat nav won't mention that. So okay. just at that junction, turn right and continue to follow the sat nav. Okay. Thank you. After 100 yards, turn left, gain the green lane, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit, York Road. Turn left, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, York Road, then turn right. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then turn right. You see that car? Yeah. Who has priority? Uh, he has priority. How about now? Now I have priority. Look for their signal. Yeah. The vehicle that was approaching us on the right was signaling right. Yeah. So. I'd like us to pull over and stop in a convenient, safe place on the left. Thank you. All just part of the test. Yeah. Take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on and continue to follow the sat please. Yeah. Not really seeing a big blind spot check there. Would you pull up and stop on the left again in a convenient, safe place, please? Yeah. Take your time when yeah. it's safe to do so. I'd yeah. like you to drive on and continue to follow the sat nav again, please. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Real big twist there. Yeah. Breaking our necks. Yeah. And looking out the back window. That's the one. Keep the examiners happy. Yeah. After 90 yards, turn right, Salisbury Avenue. Turn right. After 200 yards, turn right, Cecil Road. Notice we've driven into the oncoming side of the road. You see yeah. the white line? Yeah. 
Remember what side of the road we would like to use more? Left. Yeah. So yep. when we turn into a new road, yeah. what side do you want to keep to? Left. Yeah. What happened there? I uh, just uh, swore part of the car, so... Okay. Uh, yeah. so try and keep to the left more than the right. Okay. And just in case there's any oncoming traffic, we may go into it, which could be a bit dangerous. Yeah. At the end of the road, turn right, A232 Chim Road. Turn right. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Ganda Green Lane. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Mercedes? Yeah. Was it signaling this way? Oh, yeah, I had to stop. You remember last time we were at that roundabout? Yeah. And I asked you to stop because yeah. there was a car coming? Yeah. I was hoping you would have a look and see that for yourself this time. Yeah. Is that something you were looking out for? Uh, no, I was looking for the uh, right uh, from the left. Mini roundabouts, yeah. uh, yes. Very good for looking to the right, most important side. Yeah. Because it's so small, we might get traffic on the opposite side suddenly coming round as well. Yeah. So do have a look out for the signal, okay. as you might have that. Yeah. car, see how it's almost going into the pavement? Yeah. Have a look at the parked car. Yeah. Can you see that gap? Yeah. That's good. Try not to go too far. Yeah. So we're going to push the red car into the pavement. Yeah. That could be a serious. Yeah. Because they have priority on their side of the road. So if we're going over to After the side, After 200 yeah, yards, turn right, yeah. A217, Oldfields Road.
Turn right. some different direction to the sat nav <clears throat> just to go into a car park and do your maneuver we'll do a bay park so the traffic lights coming up yeah would you turn left please yeah. and that'll take us into the car park left again just at this red sign this little left coming up just here we're going to go all the way towards the supermarket just ahead of us so towards the end and at the end turning left please And if you just take any one of the lefts for me, please. Yeah. So turn left again. Whichever one, there's lots of them, so you can take any left here. Yeah. Lovely. And then I'd just like you to go a little bit towards the arrow and just come to a stop somewhere here, please. Perfect, thank you. Right, so there's a number of bays, doesn't yeah. matter which one, you don't have to tell me. Okay. I'd just like us to reverse into any bay, okay. your choice. Just yeah. finish in between the lines. Okay. When you're ready and it's safe, we'll reverse bay park. Yeah. Thank you. So it does have to be the first aisle. We wouldn't be allowed to go into the second aisle. Okay. 
So because we've gone into the second aisle, yeah. I need you to go back to the beginning and start again. Okay. So if you just take us up to the arrow and just stop on top of the arrow, yeah. that would be a nice start position. And we'll take it from the top. Okay. Again, whenever you're ready and it's safe, I'd just like you to choose any bait and reverse into one of the bays. Just okay. finish between the lines and it must be the first aisle. Okay. Uh, can I be it right as well? Yeah, it's okay. up to you. You can be left or right okay. as long as it's that first um, bay closest okay. to us. Okay, thank yep. you. Uh, what we'll do is exit the car park now. Okay. I think probably the quickest way out will just be here on the left. I'll give you directions and we're just going to exit the car park. Okay. And we've got like eh, just over five minutes before we head back to the test centre. So yep. we're like three quarters of the way done. Okay. Not too much longer to go. Okay. Take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, just turn to the left for me, please. And okay. I'll give us directions out of the car park. Just turning right. We have to go down quite far towards the pedestrian crossing. So if you just follow the road ahead towards the zebra crossing, you can see those flashing beacons from a mile away. Yeah. I like the LED ones, really yeah. bright. Yeah. In fact, if you just keep following the road, it might just be an easier way of exiting. So just continue to follow the road ahead. Excellent with your pedestrian crossing. Thank you. Got a big Tesco, see? Yeah, it's quite a big one. Yeah. And then at the end of this road, turning right. Okay. 
You can all sat nav if it says anything. Just follow the road ahead. You might see a big exit sign just behind the trees. That's where we like to put our signs in the UK. Yeah. Good place for a sign. <laughs> okay, and then the traffic lights. You'd like us to turn left. Yeah. At the end of the road, turn left, then take the second left. Oh, lovely mirror checks. Good timing on the signal. Turn left. A217 Oldfields Road, then take the second left. Okay, if we wouldn't mind just following Gloria's directions now. Uh, so back on to following the sat nav again now. After 400 yards, turn left, Alcorn Close, then at the end of the road, turn right. The little mirror checks before moving away at the traffic light. It's definitely good to spot any motorbikes that might filter through. Yeah, definitely a good habit. After 200 yards, turn left, Alcorn Close, then at the end of the road, turn right. Turn left, then at the end of the road, turn right. You know this bit, just following around. Turn right, yeah. then at the end of the road, turn left. Thank you. Then yes, at the end of the road, like Gloria mentioned, turning left. Turn left, B279, Sutton Common Road. Very nice early vision. Lovely. So you notice when you went round the parked car just now, just like yeah. this one, yeah. we're not going over the centre line. Yeah. Earlier we were. Yeah. Now if we go over the centre line, yeah. do we have priority? No. Exactly. Well done. So do exercise caution if we have to step over the centre line. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it might be safer to stop. It just depends yeah. on how wide the road is and if there's any space to continue. Yeah. After so 200 yards, right, cross the roundabout yeah. so and take the second step. exit, B279, yeah. so Sutton Common Road. Good. Lovely stopping here, allowing plenty of space for this van that's doing a turn in the road. Yeah. That way they'll get out of our way and we won't have to yeah. you know, reverse or anything like that. So. Very good um, position for Thank stopping you. there. Well yeah. done. Thank you. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B279, Sutton Common Road. Lovely observations. Well done. Good looking at the red car. No signal. Wheels yeah. are pointing straight. Yeah. But excellent job. Yeah. Progress. Yeah. You just checked out see if they were going to go around and you made yeah. your decision and then you're on your way yeah excellent because i didn't want to get that wrong again that last time but they're right if it was going to go right so
Okay, so we're almost back. Um, I believe this way we're going to approach the Asda car park. Some of the times the examiners may ask us to finish in the Asda car park. We have finished there before, so yeah. probably nothing new for us. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to give After directions. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination on your left. Thank you, Gloria. So on the left, you'll see a green sign, just where the silver car is turned. Yeah. And it'll be the green sign that says Asda. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind just turning left into uh, the car park just here by the green you sign. You have reached your destination, Sutton Common Road. It is on your left. Group control, nice position here. Well done. Uh, would you turn right? You can go into these bays here. If you're in the middle, it's fine. Just We're just going to get off the road. That's all. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We've done our manoeuvre, so just squeezing up somewhere here. That's absolutely fine, don't worry too much. Perfect. That's amazing, thank you. And that's it, you know the drill. So, yeah. um, do me an extra cheesy quaver. Yeah. Fantastic, we'll push that power button and unplug. Okay. And that is the end of our final mock test. Yeah. It is a tradition around here to yeah. ask you, how do you feel it went? Uh, it was good. Uh, well, Pass or fail? Ooh, chat have cast their verdict. I said fail. Yeah, what do you reckon? Uh, because uh, there was, uh, I think once when I was turning left through the car park, I should have checked the right. There was a little bit of observations as you were exiting the car park. Yeah, I yeah. just wanted to see you check a little bit more on both sides. Yeah. Um, but no, no serious there. No fail for that. Anything when I else? went uh, through like uh, the road where it was priority for the other cars, but I went through the parked cars. Good. Yeah, yeah. that was a bit of a highlight. So yeah. that's one. Any yeah. other bits and pieces that we're not too sure of or any questions that might be on your mind? Maybe the manoeuvre. The manoeuvre? Okay, manoeuvre actually was pretty decent. Um, you did to do, need to do some corrections. Yeah. You finished within the three minute time period that were allotted for the manoeuvre. Yeah. So you completed the manoeuvre to test standard. Um, yeah. Just had to do a correction, that's all. So no real big deal there, just a minor fault, which yeah. I forgot to mark. <laughs> yeah. Any other bits and pieces? I see you looking down at the test sheet now, so you might pick up on some bits and pieces. I'm yeah. not too sure. I'll leave it there. Not sure. Not sure? Yeah. Okay. Remember the roundabout as we were coming back. You were very good to check the yeah. right. You stopped. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the then right you had one. a look over to the other side, and you yeah. saw that there was a car there, and you were checking yeah. to see if they were going to keep going round. Yeah. We had a couple of roundabouts, so that happened, didn't we? Yeah, and then there was the car that was turning right, and I didn't wait for it. Yeah. yeah. So now that we've got that experience, yeah. it'd be very useful tomorrow yeah. for the real test. Yeah. And you know what to do. Yeah. yeah. So not only have we got the right to worry about, but because it's such a small roundabout, there's not a lot of room. The traffic on the upper side, which is actually equal to us, yeah, because we only need to get priority to the right, but they might just come across that roundabout so quick because it's so small. So just keeping an eye out for that traffic to see if they're signalling. Okay. And if you see if they're signaling to come around, maybe it's safer just to stop and let them go around and then we can, if it's safe afterwards, to okay. cross over. Okay. Yeah, so that was a good experience to have happen. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, that would be a serious. And yeah. We had that happen a couple of times. I marked one down as a minor. Yeah. And the other one where I had to ask you to stop yeah. was a serious okay. because I had to kind of give some advice or maybe use the dual controls, but I didn't. You know, yeah. I just put my hand up and okay. pointed the vehicle out. Okay. Yeah. So that would be enough, um, unfortunately, to receive a serious driver fault. Okay. So that's good that we've had that situation happen now. Yeah. It's less likely to happen on the real test as well. Yeah. Um, so for that reason, we received a serious driver fault. Yeah. There was two more. Yeah. So when we did a right turn, yeah, just on one of the side roads, not a lot happening, quite quiet area. Yeah. Uh, we turned a little bit too early. Yeah. And I just highlighted the centre line. Yeah. And what we'd like to do is try to join the new road on the left side of the centre line. Yeah. We joined the new road on the right side of the centre line. Yeah. So it's just the wrong side of the road for the UK. Yeah. So just try to make sure that we reach the centre of the road. Okay. 
of the road that we're turning into, I should say, okay. and then turn rather than turning before the centre of the road that okay. we're turning into. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, we had one last minor driver fault, which you did mention at yeah. the beginning. Uh, sorry, serious driver fault. There was a minor for it as well. Yeah. And that was when we're going around the parked cars into the oncoming traffic. Yeah. So remember, if we step over the centre line. We've lost priority. Yeah. We're going across and into the oncoming traffic. Okay. If the road is not wide enough, yeah. it would be safer to stop and wait. Yeah. Sometimes the road is wide enough so yeah. we can go around the parked car. Okay. Try not to go too wide of the parked car. I noticed today that when we were going around the parked cars, you could yeah. have kept going. There was yeah. enough room. Yeah. But we're going too far from the parked car. Yeah. Which is actually putting us too far out and over to the right side of the road yes yeah. it's causing the oncoming traffic to slow stop yeah. or swerve okay. the three s's yeah and they will result in a serious driver fault okay. so just be cautious of that okay, okay. okay. right um so one two three uh serious which we just mentioned so unfortunately 75 percent. i think it was almost 75 percent of chat said fail yeah you would say fail as well and i would say Phil. And we're all in consensus again. <laughs> yeah. uh, there was a couple of minors, uh, yeah. three in total actually, yeah. uh, the manoeuvre which we mentioned and the observation at one of the roundabouts which you mentioned we got serious for as well and the meeting situation which we just talked about about going too wide over and into the oncoming traffic which would be a meeting situation. So I just put a mind for those two yeah. but then we did get too serious for the same reason as well. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no. All right, that's the end of our epic journey on yeah. our mock tests at Morden. Yeah. We've got the real deal tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. crunch time. Hopefully all of this practice will pay off. Yeah. Um, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Obviously yeah. the best of luck. Everyone wishing us luck as well. And it just leaves me to say a massive thank you to you for sharing. Thank you. And I hope this helps a lot of people to learn to drive. Yeah.